Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate options for performing plan contrast in SPSS following a one-way ANOVA. And this is a continuation of a discussion that I started in a previous presentation on one-way ANOVA and Tukey's post hoc tests in SPSS. And you can download a copy of a, the PowerPoint from that previous presentation at the link that's shown on your screen. So for this presentation I've created a new PowerPoint and that PowerPoint provides a conceptual overview of plan contrast and walks you through various options in SPSS and what various pieces of output mean. Uh, so this video demonstration is mainly going to be focusing in on the procedural aspects that are described in the PowerPoint. So whereas the PowerPoint is designed to give you a deeper dive on plan contrast um, in SPSS, this video demonstration is going to be mainly focusing in on showing you how to obtain the results that are generated in the PowerPoint. So be sure to download a copy of that PowerPoint. Uh, you can find it at the link that is provided underneath the video description. In addition, I will include a link to the SPSS data file uh, so that you can download the data and follow along. So let's go ahead and get started with the example that we are going to be using. Um, we're following from example one in the previous presentation. And um, basically for that example, we have fictional data from a set of ninth grade students who were randomly assigned to one of three treatment conditions designed to increase their motivation to learn. So we're going to be performing a one-way ANOVA to test for omnibus group differences on the motivation measure and then use plan contrast to test more targeted hypotheses concerning differences in population means. So our treatment variable is coded one for control group, two for treatment A, and three for treatment B. And the dependent variable is measured on a continuous scale with higher scores representing greater motivation to learn. So in my PowerPoint, I use uh, three plan contrasts throughout much of the demonstration. So for the first contrast, what we're going to be doing is comparing uh, the mean for the control group against the mean for the uh, treatment B group. And so when we do this, we're going to be using three contrast codes. Um, basically for group one, we're going to be using a value of one. For group two, we're going to be using a value of zero. And for group three, we're going to be using a value of negative one. The second contrast is going to entail comparing the treatment A group versus treatment B group. And we're going to be using contrast codes of zero, one, and negative one for the control group A, treatment A, and treatment B groups respectively. And then finally, we're going to be uh, carrying out a complex contrast where we are going to compare the mean for group one against the average of the means for groups two and three. So basically, we're going to use a code of one for the control group, negative one half for the treatment A group, and negative one half for the treatment B group. And in my previous discussion, I noted that there are two routes by which you can carry out analysis of variance in SPSS. Uh, route one is kind of the more simple route, uh, and if you, it involves going through the drop-down menus for compare means, and it will allow you to carry out a basic one-way ANOVA. Route two basically involves uh, going through the univariate general linear model route, uh, and that route actually will allow you not only to perform a one-way ANOVA, but also to carry out factorial ANOVA or ANCOVA if that's what you want to do. So let's go ahead and open up SPSS and run our analyses via both routes. So here we have our data opened up in SPSS. We have our independent variable treatment. Again, it's coded one for control group, two for treatment A, and three for treatment B, and our motivation variable right here. So going through route one and specifying our uh, contrast, what, what we will do is click on analyze, go to compare means, and then go down to one way ANOVA. So we'll click on that. We'll move our independent variable to the factor box, our dependent variable to the dependent list box. Under options, um, what I clicked, uh, what I have clicked in the uh, PowerPoint uh, are descriptives, homogeneity, variance tests. I also included Brown, Forsyth, and Welch. Um, and then we'll click on continue. Under contrast, I'm going to. Uh, you can see right here. This allows me to type in my contrast coefficients. So, f for group one, remember for the first. Uh, um, 
contrast, we were comparing the mean of the control group against the mean of treatment B. So in this case, the contrast coefficient for group 1 is 1. We'll uh, press add. For group 2, it's 0. And then for group 3, it's negative 1. And we'll click add right there. And you can see that once we're done specifying that, the coefficient total should sum to 0. To, uh, zero. And I also want to mention too that I could have made uh, the contrast coefficient for group 1 negative 1 and then the contrast coefficient for group 3 negative 3 if I wanted to but um, the main thing is is that the that uh, the coefficient total should sum to 0. So that's the specification for the first contrast. I'll, I'll press next and then for the second one we were going to compare the mean of the treatment A group versus treatment B group. So in this case um, because the first group is not included in the contrast, I'm going to type 0 for that contrast coefficient. For group uh, 2, which is a treatment A group, I'm going to type uh, 1 and press add. And then we'll do a negative 1 and uh, add for group 3. So then for our uh, complex contrast, I'll press next right here. And then for this one, we'll type in a 1 and then press add. Now I can't type in a negative one half. It doesn't work uh, that way. So you can see right there I get an error. Um, so what I have to do is type in, type it in in decimal form. So I'm going to type in a negative 0.5 for group 2, with my treatment A group, and then negative 0.5 for group 3 and press add right there. We'll click on continue and then on OK. And so now you can see in our output, we have our standard descriptives and tests of homogeneity of variances. We have our analysis of variance uh, results. You can see that there's there are significant overall uh, group differences on the dependent variable. Uh, here are, are the robust tests that, we, that I uh, had requested. And then down below, you'll see we have a table containing the contrast coefficient. So this is the specification of each of the contrasts. This is exactly what I typed in before. And then down below, we have our contrast test, the column containing the value of the contrast. This is basically the difference in means that's computed. And you can see that we have uh, p values for each of these tests. The first set of, of uh, contrasts assume equal variances. The latter set uh, does not assume equal variances. And as I noted uh, in, in the uh, PowerPoint, I go into more detail regarding uh, interpretation of these results. Nevertheless, it looks like in general all three contrast results were statistically significant. Okay, so now we're going to use uh, Route 2 in SPSS. So to generate our results that way, we're going to um, press Analyze, go to General Linear Model and Univariate right here. We're going to move the independent variable to this Fixed Factors box. Our dependent variable will go right here in the, in the obviously, the dependent variable box. Um, under Options, I'm going to click on just some of the usual ones like Descriptives, Effect Size, Power, uh, Homogeneity Tests. We'll uh, press continue. Under uh, estimated marginal means, I'll go ahead and request overall and the means for the, the individual groups and then continue right there. Now you'll notice that, uh, and then obviously under plots, if we want um, uh, a line chart or a bar chart, we can easily move that variable over to the horizontal axis box, click add, and then make a selection of one of those two. You can even add error bars if you want. Now you'll notice in SPSS, there's a uh, under this menu there is a tab for contrast and I talk a little bit about these in the PowerPoint I'm not going to focus too much too heavily on this in this presentation but just know that there are several uh, sort of pre-programmed options for different contrast types but I want to specify the contrast that I've just kind of laid out through uh, Route 1. So in this particular demonstration the way that we can do that is to use a little bit of syntax so to get to the syntax editor with our model as it's specified uh, currently and with all our options, we can go to paste. So I'm going to press this button right here and now you can see we have a syntax editor that is opened up and using the L matrix subcommand we can specify our contrast. So basically this is the model that we're testing, uh, the, the general model, uh, and everything in green are subcommands and you can see everything in red are basically the options that we've selected. 
Now down here at the bottom you'll see it says uh, backslash design equals treatment and then there's a period. Now what I want to do is to specify the contrast so using L matrix subcommand. So what I'm going to do is get rid of that period and you can see that when I do this um, that univariate ANOVA appears in red right there. That's because it's not this whole set of um, uh, commands it's not closed out if I press period again you can see it turns blue but we need to get rid of the period now and I'm gonna uh, go to the next line and then type backslash and um, in the PowerPoint I used um, all caps but I'm gonna type in L matrix it doesn't really matter and now this is gonna be specifying that we're gonna be performing a contrast so next, uh, if I want to, which I usually do, I'm going to type in, I want a, a title for my contrast. So if I type uh, a quotation mark and then the name of the contrast, for instance, I could type in uh, control versus treatment B. You can see right now it's showing up in red, but then when I close out uh, that quote uh, with the, the latter quotation mark, you can see it turns uh, back to black there. And now I'm going to uh, hit enter and then type in the name of my independent variable. So I'm going to type in treatment and then I'm going to type in the contrast codes as they appear. Um, so remember that we're, we were comparing one versus three. So I'm going to type in uh, the contrast code for the control group is one. For the uh, treatment B group I'm going to type in zero and then for the, uh, oh, excuse me, the, uh, that was the treatment A group, uh, the coefficient was zero, and then for the treatment B group, it's negative one right there. Now if I uh, type a period right there, you can see it all close out, and if I was to run it this way, to do that, I'm just going to highlight all of this and press the screen button right here. And so now you can see that we have all of our ANOVA results, um, you know, there's our descriptives, Levine's tests, um, our ANOVA results that are presented in the tests of between subjects effects. You can see down here under custom hypothesis tests, you can see right here we have our contrast estimate. This is exactly what we saw when we ran this using Route 1. There, here's the standard error and then the p-value. If you wanted to compute the, the actual t-value, you can easily do that just by taking the contrast estimate and dividing it by its standard error and that would get you the t-value. And then um, you know the the degrees of freedom associated with that t-test um, are, are basically uh, associated with the degrees of freedom uh, error from this table above in terms of the tests of between subjects effects. You also notice that underneath uh, we have our title which is control versus treatment B. So that's why uh, we would in include that. So let's go back now and run our full set as a batch. So I'm going to get rid of this period again. Go to the next line and type in backslash L matrix. And in this case, we'll we'll type in inside uh, the quotation marks treatment A versus treatment B in quotation marks. Then the name of my independent variable, which is treatment, and then we'll type in the codes of one, zero, one, and negative one. So that's for the next one. And then let's go ahead and do the third one. So we'll type in uh, L matrix again. And then in this particular case, we'll just type in uh, control versus average of treatment A and B and in quotation marks. We'll type in treatment here and then we'll type in a one. Now I can either type in the, um, the decimals that we typed in before, like the negative 0.5 and negative 0.5, or I could even type in negative one half and negative one half. So it works both ways in this particular case. I'm going to uh, type in uh, period at the end, close it out, highlight everything, and press the green button. And so now, when I look at my output, you can see uh, the custom hypothesis test index right here. This is just specifying each of the, the tests that are being carried out. So this is test one. And so again, you can see we have control versus treatment B that's given right there. When I scroll down a little bit further, you can see that we have the uh, treatment A versus treatment B that's given. So there's the mean difference right there and our p-value. And then when I scroll down a little bit further, you can see that we have the, the last of our comparison. So there's the contrast estimate and our p-value that's given. You can see that it says control versus the average of treatments A and B. 
So that, um, that's pretty much all there is to it in terms of generating plan contrasts um, using contrast coefficients in SPSS. So again, I encourage you to download a copy of the PowerPoint. It does go into a lot more detail than I'm really talking about in this video. Um, and I appreciate you watching.